Yeah, the shooting, the arrest all went down about a block from where I'm standing right here on Elizabeth Avenue. You can see there's still a very active crime scene at this hour. But here's what happened this morning. A local bar owner found Ahmad Rahami sleeping in the hallway of his bar. He called cops. A responding officer recognized Rahami's face from his photos on the All Points Bulletin that was sent out this morning. Just moments later, Rahami opened fire. The two-day manhunt for the Chelsea and Seaside Park bombing suspect came to an end with a gun battle in Linden, New Jersey, and the arrest of Ahmed Khan Rahami, seen here cuffed on the ground on Elizabeth Avenue off Roselle Street. It was like a pow, pow, pow. The gunfire erupted right outside Michael Tedesco's home. It's surreal and it's frightening uh, to actually have it happen literally on my front porch. I heard about 10 to 12 shots. I just heard, you know, nothing but gunfire. Police say Rahami was found sleeping inside the doorway of New Meredith's Bar on Elizabeth Avenue by its owner, who called 911, thinking Rahami was a homeless vagrant. Responding police tried to wake up Rahami. At that point, the officer realized that this might be the uh, suspect that was being sought. He then told the person, "Show me your hands." And at that point, the the suspect went to his side, pulled out a handgun, and fired around at our officer, striking him in the abdomen area. Fortunately, the officer had a bulletproof vest on. Another officer was grazed by a bullet on his face. Police returned fire, shooting Rahami and placing him under arrest. He was placed on a stretcher and taken to the hospital for emergency surgery. Rahami was not far from his home in Elizabeth, where the FBI was seen collecting evidence. CBS2 obtained this exclusive surveillance video that police say shows Rahami pulling a small rolling bag carrying the bomb down 23rd Street in Chelsea. His neighbors are stunned to find out the wanted bombing suspect was right under their noses. He's very friendly. He's a nice guy. You'd never suspect anything like this. Rahami's family owned this neighborhood store and in 2011 filed a lawsuit against Elizabeth, claiming their shop hours were restricted because they were Muslim. The suit was dropped one year later. Now, U.S. officials say Rahami is a naturalized U.S. citizen from Afghanistan and that he had traveled to Afghanistan at least once in recent, in recent months. So far, the FBI has not, any, has not made any specific links between Rahami and any specific terror group. He was shot in the leg this morning, underwent surgery this afternoon, and was last listed in stable condition. We're live in Linden, New Jersey. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Hazel, thank you.